Ben Alaya, editor-in-chief of the Sports Day newspapers, is here in the studio now. Ben, good morning. Thanks for coming on the show. Good morning. It's great oh, it's to have you. I mean, what, a time, what a time to have you. I mean, just the day <laughs> after the Nigerian Football Federation held uh, the annual general uh, assembly in Jos and some interesting, um, you know, uh, highlights and resolutions um, uh, made uh, from that particular one. And we'll run through them uh, quickly before we get Ben's uh, reaction But uh, I ask you, them. Salam, as you go on, why, do we, why did we have two communiques? It's amazing. Incredible. We won't get back to that. Let's just, let's just go through some we of the to. highlights. We must ask questions. Okay, then. Fair point to you. Let's go through some of the highlights uh, from uh, from that particular meeting uh, in Georgia. No, okay, yeah, this is number one. They've resolved to actually prepare Nigeria adequately for Russia 2018. That is expected yep. if you want uh, the Super Eagles to go there and compete really well against the top nations and from all across uh, the world. World Cup bonuses to be agreed before year end. That's very important as well to Ben. You've been in this situation before. You're going to tell us a lot more about why it's so important to agree and sign these World Cup bonuses before the year even ends at all. They've actually gone on to scrap uh, bonuses for age grade sides as well too. Ben, you tell us why you think that's a good uh, you know, decision or not. And last but not the least, they've approved um, the appointments of Mr. Randy Waldrum, other Falcons technical advisor. And yeah, so they've ordered the NFF uh, sector to go on to go on and actually, you know, complete and conclude negotiations uh, with the coach. Where do you want to start from, Ben? Do you want to start from the Falcons or you want to start from the top? I'd like to start from the top. Okay. okay. The first is, yes, we are about the bonuses. It's very important because um, looking backwards now, when I was there with the team, Okay. For, uh, in case you have forgotten, we had yeah, issues. Remind us. Uh -huh. We had issues during the Confederations Cup when we were supposed to travel directly from Namibia, was it Namibia or Switzerland, I cannot remember now, straight to Brazil for the uh, Confederations Cup. And the player says their bonuses and welfare has not been taken care of. Of course, I recall Mikel, Inyama, Yobo, everybody stood up and said, look, this is the way it should be, that they are not moving until everything is paid. And so we missed the flight from Johannesburg to uh, um, Brazil. Mm. So the team didn't go. And then eventually FIFA intervened and said, look, whatever it is, we'll pay. They got such, you know, and it, at a point even Stephen Keshi was accused of inciting the players, but it was not Stephen Keshi. And mm. again, it's repeated itself. When we were already in the second round, the players were like, come on, you're not paying us our bonuses. What is the problem? I recall that senior president then, David Mack, had to come to Brazil mm. Uh, with the Minister of Sports, with a lot of other persons, because the money was not paid to the players. And the players said, look, if they, they didn't even train. Even though... As there was the, a strike, right? Even, yeah, there was a strike. Even then as well, a media officer, even step? then as a media officer, I, 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 I uh, hear me, even then as a media officer, I had to tell the world press that um, we changed our training plans. But <laughs> I knew, yeah, at, well, a, at a point the players excused me from their meeting. Mm. They excused the big boss from their meeting. The big boss was like, what is happening? I want people to, to come and train. And they didn't train for that day. And so it was not a surprise that when we went in the game, uh, into the game in the second round game against France, France. we lost. Yeah. Let's come back to now. So what basically, is, won't this step, this step stop that from happening again? That, that's my own question. No, it, it will. If they have Arrangement made in place. To it. Of course, you know and stick to it. That is the key word. Yeah. Stick to the plans you are paying. Uh, you know the people that you ought to give bonuses to and mm. all that. Then you give them and let let it. In fact, you can give them upward. It makes the players relax. Mm. Don't. The, yes, you can say the Nigerian national team is a national team of millionaires, but they still need this thing. They they they, 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 they are entitled. Let me ask you an interesting question. They said as part of the communique that future elective congresses should be moved from uh, the year that you have the World Cup uh, for the sake of stability and, and, and some other things. And we've seen that example. We'll come back from the World Cup. We're already suffering from bad performance at the World Cup and elections. The, the, the president is removed. Everything is removed. Megiri is removed. Everybody is removed. It started with Galadima. I think it does to a large extent. 
it does remove. However, my take is, if you are doing the World Cup from June 12th to July 12th, and the election we are talking about is September 30, if you, it, it's like the executive committee or even the general assembly is afraid of failure. Why must you be afraid of failure? There's I mean, instability. There's, there, there's no, there's, look, if you do well, Nigerians will applaud you, and yeah. you will generally go S in there. So S I don't think that, yeah. is, that is an issue that we should talk about. It's just okay. politics that okay. they are playing, and I know why. Okay. So, but I don't want to go deeper yeah, than well, that. Let's not go into that now, Ben. <laughs> now, let's talk about another um, highlight from that particular meeting in Jaws and scrapping of bonuses for eighth grade sites. I mean, what do you make of that? A uh, good way to go? No. Why not? Because, you see, these players... Age grade. The age grades, under 20, yes. under 20. Under 17 mm -hmm. and perhaps maybe under 23. That's I don't nice. think it's good. If, if, how much are they paying now? Maybe 500 per day. Yeah, they'll be getting their daily allowance. Their daily allowance, 500 yeah. per day or 1,000 naira per day. I don't think it's good enough. Because if you look at the people who actually play football, they are from the downtrodden. They okay. are poor people. And so the, most of them. And even the breadwinners, as really, quote, yes, of their families. Yes, look at the Kelechi Henacho. I, I give you a, a classic example. His father was not. He, he, no, let, let's look at Mikel. We can mm. go on and on, on, and on talking on. about them. They are from the downtrodden. Do you, are you, the have you ever seen this? Have you ever seen the son of Dango or Lumelu or these people playing football? It's, it's not. It's not possible. Mm. They are there in the US or UK schooling. So it is the downtrodden, and so you must. You empower them. Some if, soccer because they see it as a way of getting out of... The poverty level. That is just it. So I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a you fan. Know, you know, I, I don't is it because the, the, the ruling the, body doesn't the, want the, to be ambushed? No. The problem is that the ruling body, as I, we speak, is cash-strapped. I can understand. Okay. That is what they should say. So that's, that, that's, that, that's a cost. In my own personal opinion, very personal, I don't think that they should scrap it because... These players need, it, they need to, it to to give back to their to, to their family. If you if you are, if you have a good child who's, who can play good football, yeah. you think that you have millions <laughs> waiting in, in the wings. In the wings. Okay. 